Hey guys, welcome to the next video in my Iwate series. Today I am at Den Shoen and I'm here to buy a license so that I can go fishing for kappa. Kappa are a mysterious creature found in Japanese folklore. They're known to live in lakes, rivers, and any swampy type of areas. They're kind of a mix between a turtle and a human, but their most important feature being the dish-shaped area on the top of their head which is filled with water. This is the kappa's life source, so it's very important that they don't spill the water out of their dish. Kappa are known to be very mischievous and they like doing things like stealing crops and pulling children into the river. The kappa stories are kind of used as a way to convince children to stay out of the water so they don't get hurt. Sometimes kappa are depicted as cute creatures. You can find kappa plushies or cute kappa statues but often they're also seen as very scary as you can see in these drawings. While the kappa are famous all over Japan, their hometown is known to be Tono in Iwate Prefecture. That's where I am today and you can do fun things here like fishing for kappa and you can talk to the kappa ojisan all about kappa and learn a lot from him. So that's what we're gonna do today. If you see behind me here, there are some fishing poles with cucumbers strung to them. This is how you catch a kappa, so I'm going to learn how to do that today and I'm going to get my license and we're going to go catch a kappa. So you can buy a license without a cover or you can get one with a cover. I decided to go with this one, so alright, I got my license and I'm ready to go. So if I want to be like a pro kappa fisher, I need to wear one of these hats, so which one are we going to wear, guys? This is like your traditional kappa, green and yellow. Whoa, this one has hair. I'm leaning towards this one because it's cute. So yeah, let's, let's go with this one. So that one didn't fit my head. It's still pink, so that's okay. We have come to the spot where we can fish for kappa. I have my kappa hat and I've got my kappa fishing license. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to catch one, right? And we also have some cucumbers. Kappa eat cucumbers. So we bought some cucumbers in Tokyo and we brought them with us. So that is what we're gonna use to catch the kappa. So let's head down here and see if we can find the river where they live. I'm excited. It's really beautiful. Check it out. It's a really nice temple. Oh, I see a sign. Kappa are this way. Kappa Fuji, this way. Okay. Sammy, it's really cool. <laughs> oh, okay, I see a bridge. According to this sign here, the kappa used See their hat? It's filled with water. There was a fire at this temple and the kappa used that water from their hat to put out the fire, so everyone loves them. All right, so apparently there are some kappa in this river here. I hear some voices down here, so let's see if we can find someone who can help us out. I see someone fishing. Ah, konnichiwa. <笑>何をしてるんですか。カッパ釣り。カッパですか。それはキュウリですか。はい。カッパはキュウリを食べるんですか。キュウリ大好き。でも僕は新鮮なイケルだからね。どこから来たの?えっと、カナダです。はい。
じゃあ今日はなぜカッパいなかったと思いますか。今日寒いからね。寒いのは苦手ですか。急にこういう寒くなってくると、はい。お皿の水が凍る恐れあるからね。あ、カッパの上そうそうそう、頭の上にある皿ですか。そうそうそうはい。あれ命の水だからね。あれが凍ってしまうと命の皮からね。ああ。あの結果一切出てこない。じゃあ二月はちょっと。<笑>はい。We're allowed to bring one home with us. Only one because they're like a super popular tourist attraction here, so we can't take them all home. But today it was a little too cold and the kappa didn't want to come out, so we didn't catch any. But maybe in the summer I will come back and I will get one. So look forward to that. <laughs>